Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing lanjo pulled noodles. Now I've made lanjo noodle broth with you guys before, we've done pulled noodles before, but we have never made the actual lanjo noodles. These noodles are unique in three different ways. First off, you are supposed to be able to make these noodles from mixing to pulling to cooking within 20 minutes and that's how fast you're supposed to do it that's how they teach it in the pulled noodles school so that's quite unique and a lot of you guys are going to say how's that going to happen because usually when we make pulled noodles we have to wait a certain period of time for the gluten to relax so that everything stretches right so 20 minutes so that brings us to number two lanjo noodles uses something called peng hui which is a dietary ash that affects the stretchability of the dough and that's really how you're able to make something from you know like dough to being able to stretch it within 20 minutes this particular substance is very hard to find so i have kind of looked around uh, for different recipes specifically we're gonna try out a serious eats recipe play around with that uh, to see how that works and then number three why these uh, noodles kind of extend the, the way that they do is uh, this special method that you do of kneading it. So typically when we need bread, we need in all different directions. We need kind of in a circle. For these noodles, you actually need in a linear type of kneading. And this kneading in a line helps, supposedly, helps the noodles stretch out uh, really long and then again in that 20 minute uh, time span. So uh, I hope you guys all enjoy this. Again, we're going to be using kind of a serious eats recipe which involves nooch nutritional yeast. So I was like, oh, can't wait to try this. So uh, let's head on over to the dough first. I have the dough here um, just from like setting up. I had it kind of rest for about 20 minutes. Originally, the dough was very, it was very wet. I didn't think it came together, but after probably like around 20 minutes of, of sitting around, you guys can see it's actually, it's very malleable. It looks very, very good. What I'm going to do first is to show you guys how to knead this lanjo lamian because it's it's this kneading process that is very very unique i'm not going to use flour because flour is just going to make everything seize back up it's going to be harder to stretch i'm just going to use a very little bit of oil on the surface something like lamian where you're you're pulling it and you're trying to get it long uh, the idea is you you want to knead it in a way where everything also aligns. So what I'm gonna do here is just, you know, kind of flatten it out and then roll it onto itself, but in a linear way. And once this gets a little too big to handle, I'm gonna fold it onto itself and then kind of flatten it out and then roll it and knead it on top of itself again. It ensures that the gluten physically is stacked up on itself in like a linear line way so that when you stretch it, that is how the networks are gonna go. It's going to stretch this way, whereas, you know, um, in the other kneading methods, it might not be, it might not be as conducive to stretching long because gluten is all over the place. Dough is tacky, but it isn't necessarily sticking to the 
to the board. Some people have said that they do this step for like, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, but for the serious eats one, I think, I think he was only here for about six to seven minutes. So we'll see kind of how it goes. Uh, so the next process of this is, is you're supposed to stretch it out and then twirl it, stretch it out and twirl it. I think that that is yet another way of, of kneading it some more. <laughs> this thing does not naturally want to curl. Uh, so just kind of slap it on a little bit. I know from practicing, because I've done a little bit of practice before this, that sometimes if the dough isn't kneaded enough, the, the edges, they like start to tear. Or like sometimes when you do this too much, the, the edges, well for me anyways, start to tear. So, you know, I think at the shops, they make it look really easy. They do this like a bunch of times, but I think when we're playing around with the recipe at home, like even this bit is difficult. <laughs> Okay, so the water is boiling right now, as you can hear. This is, I guess, generally the point of no return once it touches the flour, but who knows. Um, I'm going to just roll it out into, you know, a long thing first. And so as you pull it and as you stretch it, this time it's not going to kind of stick back together. So, <laughs> I'm nervous. I feel like the ends are a bit weak. So I'm gonna bring this over again. I'm going to, I guess, just stretch it out some more. So that's two. I knew that proper lanjo noodles, you're supposed to be able to stretch it out like six times. So that was two and it kind of snapped a little bit. So I tried stretching it a couple more times. Ultimately, like it did start breaking at around the two and a half to three stretch point. So I know that probably the lanjo noodles are supposed to be a lot thinner than this. Um, like if I wanted it thicker, I would have to wait, you know, about three minutes, stretch it out again. And then uh, after one pull, it would get tight again. So. So how did I think we did? Um, I think with the Serious Eats recipe, I'd say like, yeah, like 75, 80% of the stuff we were able to do. Like we were able to really roll it out, get it really stretchy, you know, like fling it around, all that jazz. Like that was, that was pretty cool and that was pretty amazing. I was just sad because when it came to pulling it, I told you guys that usually, you know, like the, the, the professionals are able to pull it, you know, six times. And I thought, okay, like, I don't know what I was hoping. I was hoping for six, um, but I, I was kind of bummed out that it kind of stopped at like around like two and a half, three, it would start snapping. So maybe the, the Peng Hui ash does have a lot more to do with it than just everything else because we were able to do everything else kind of really according to textbook. Um, but of course, this is only like a couple of times that like I've, I've made this, like people, you know, dedicate months and, you know, go to classes like eight hours a day, just really just making the dough over and over again, stretching it, kneading it, everything. So there, there's definitely, there's definitely some skill involved, even though people who actually like make it in the restaurant, they make it look really easy. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm in general happy. I, I, <laughs> I wish I could have stretched it a couple more times. I wish it would have looked like less homemade. I wish it would have been a little bit 
more professional looking. Be sure to stay tuned for more noodle recipes as I've really enjoyed kind of um, playing around and, and, and just researching how to make different types of noodles from scratch. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that and I will see you guys again next time. Okay, bye.